for a few days now my laps have been aching but we'll keep exercising anyway we don't want by the time this whole pandemic is over people that knew us won't recognize us anymore <music> to my channel yes yes i'm here like i never left so how you doing this is going to be like my regular introduction this period till we're out of this pandemic god help us so today we are going to be discussing the very simple activities that you can indulge in while you're at home this period yes the instruction is stay at home yes the instruction is if it is possible work from home but let's be honest with ourselves so many nigerians can't work from home yes so many people cannot work from home. Even if there is a possibility that you can work from home, depending on the nature of your job. But the environment is not enabling and so many factors are against you working from home. So give or take, at least 70% of Nigerians are in their houses doing nothing this period. Except, well, catching up on gist with families and stuff like that. But I believe that there are some other things that we can do to make ourselves a little more productive this period while we're at home let's be honest with ourselves it's not everybody that can work from home like myself i'm not working from home i can't work from home i just can't work from home because my work requires that i'm there life and direct so i have to be on field life and direct so for now so many people are not working from so many people can't work from home there is the light issue which is not constant how do we go about it then there is the data issue which it's entirely another story on its own. So a lot of people are affected and currently we are all at home, sleeping, eating. Just for the sake of clarity, I would like to know what have you been doing this period? Please share with us in the comment section. What have you been the past two weeks, three weeks or however long you've been staying at home? What exactly have you been doing? What activities have you been carrying out? So I have a list of 10 simple activities that we can indulge in this period while we are at home so that you know will not become so idle that by the time they say stand up and go back to your jobs or normal life so many of us would not even know what to do with ourselves <laughs> so that's what i want to share with you all so let's get right into it number one is the regular house chores that we do of course these ones they are inevitable so it's very normal that this period that we're at home we we'll still have to do what we've been doing on the normal that's washing your clothes, prepping food, cooking, cleaning the house, you know, whatever that you do on a normal in your house, you can't avoid it. We have to keep doing that. Probably be wearing one nightwear, one singlet and shorts for days. No problem. Nobody's judging anybody this period. But please don't forget to wash them. Wash, change, wear something else. No problem. The second one is eating well yes you have to eat you have to eat food is a constant even if we're not doing anything as it is we can't we can't not eat i can i must eat you know personally i like food i can't deny that so we have to eat <clears throat> see eh? let me not even lie this period anything that has to do with food is tricky <laughs> you know why i say it's tricky one minute you you just ate something in the morning and you're like okay let me just relax i don't want no worries nothing to do and before you know it you want to eat something else and then you want to eat something else and then you're chewing biscuit or you're chewing one snack or the other before you know it you're just you've eaten so much things in a day eh what is it who did we offend am i the only one that eats like this please somebody should tell me i'm not the only one that eats like this but please eat well eat more fruits eat more vegetables include it in any of your other meals maybe today you want to eat rice you add some vegetable tomorrow spaghetti add some vegetables and like that like that but always eat fruits orange watermelon these ones they are readily available try and change your meals so at least you won't get tired of eating the same things over and over and over and over and over again the third one the third one is exercise more <laughs> exercise more you i'm talking to you exercise more you know 
we just finished talking about food so as much as you're eating and you feel like you can't stop eating please do some home exercise there are quite a number of exercises that we can do this period to at least keep our body active maybe we'll not lose all the fats that we've been consuming but at least we'll lose some sha we'll lose some personally on the issue of this exercise eh, i've been trying you no know, as much as i'm eating but i'm exercising it's just that for a few days now my laps have been aching and I'm not feeling it anymore <laughs> but we'll keep exercising anyway we don't want by the time this whole pandemic is over people that knew us will recognize us anymore so we have to work out there are so many items in the house that we can turn to workout tools and we use it to move our body but one that i strongly recommend is skipping if you can skip it will be very very good so the fourth one says read a book so yes i think this is a good period for us to read books it doesn't have to be academic books though it might be anything that you're interested in it can be regular novels it can be fiction stories it can be magazines it can be hard copy books or soft copies so whatever books you lay your hands on try and read it's going to help you exercise your brains and keep it active also there is option of audio books if you feel you are not really the kind of person that likes to read that's where when you are carrying out other activities in the house while you are doing something else you can be listening to the books and before you know it you can even finish two to three books in a day you know so please try as much as possible to read this period no matter what it is you're reading so far you are reading no problem we are good to go the fifth one is online courses yes 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 you've been hearing online courses online courses online courses everybody's telling you to do online courses and it's not like as if they gave you money for data i know i know all these human beings but then they have to do what they have to do they have to tell you what they have to tell you so yes this is a good time to do some online courses definitely it's going to be on a topic of whatever that interests you you're not doing it for these people you're not doing it for your parents you're not doing it for your friends or you're not doing it for your followers because they said you're doing it for yourself so whatever that interests you whatever area of expertise that interests you pick it up do an online course on it and please move at your own pace some of the popular sites that you can even take free courses on include Coursera, edx udemy Khan academy there are so many of the master class and the courses range from every aspect of life every interest of life if it is photography if it is writing trying to improve your public speaking skills whatever it is you are interested in you will find them there so please just take one Yes, we know your dad, you don't have so much money to buy plenty data, but just take one, take one online course. Okay, so number six, yes, number six on the list is digital decluttering. So there are a lot of email subscriptions that you and I did so many years back. Every time you check your mail in the morning, you're seeing 20 new mails and you go through it and there are only two important things that interest you there the rest you just probably open and close or you just leave it that way you are guilty both of us so what do you do this period this quarantine period this lockdown period is a good time for you to declutter your online space so many emails this is the time to unsubscribe from them because they're not serving you anymore at a point before now you were interested in the updates but as it is for a year going to two years you don't you don't you've never read any of the updates that they forwarded to you so why don't you unsubscribe just gently unsubscribe nobody will key you they said they know from the email of the they know that you did not read the mail so just unsubscribe so that they will know that your number is not included and save everybody the stress so unsubscribe from email lists that no longer interest you or no longer serve any purpose for you or follow people online that you don't care about them anymore when i say you don't care about it i don't mean maybe all of a sudden you're a wicked person but maybe you used to follow this superstar and all of a sudden they are no longer so super in your eyes you already know some of the tricks that they are showing you so i think it's safe to unfollow them 
just declutter your online space go on instagram and follow so many people that you know are not adding value to yourself instead they are making you lose your mind go to twitter and follow so many of all those ones that are speaking english but they don't know what what they are doing with their lives <laughs> go on facebook ah please go on facebook please go to your facebook account <laughs> unfollow sorry unfriend so many people that they don't serve you anymore they don't serve a purpose in your life anymore so many if facebook ah facebook you said you know what i'm talking about so please declutter your online space know what serves you leave them the ones that no longer serve you please let them go this life is too short don't allow other people's nuisances to be causing stress to yourself it's not worth it so this time is a good opportunity for you to do that. Thank me for this information I'm giving you. You know, also in the spirit of decluttering a digital space, please back up your pictures, back up your documents, back up the passwords that are important to you. Please back up your pictures. Ah, this one is paining me. I lost my phone sometime in November last year and I lost all my pictures. Pictures I've had for almost three years backwards i lost everything as in i was so pained till now i'm still pained so please back up your pictures right now if i snap one picture and i love it and i'm or i'm sure i want to show it to my grandchildren i go and back it up it's that simple so please don't don't be like me don't end up like me back up all your pictures now that you can i cannot go and meet the thief wherever they are and say please just give me my pictures, keep the phone. And just slap. Number seven, another form of decluttering. This especially is for the ladies. Maybe a few of the guys, but ladies, please declutter your wardrobe. Hmm, I've touched a nerve. I know, I touched a nerve. <laughs> so many of us, we have clothes that we've not worn for the past three years. And every time, you clean the wardrobe you keep telling yourself i'm going to wear this clothes someday i wear this dress someday i'll wear this shoe someday i'll carry this bag and before you know it a year is gone two years and three years and counting and you've not worn these clothes my dear you didn't wear them anywhere and you're still buying more please this is the time for you to in fact remove all those items you're no longer using just bring them out if they are still in good condition you can package them for people that is going to be useful to but if they are no longer good please just burn them or put them in the waste bin my sister please throw them away you will not wear it trust me after this lockdown you still go and buy another one and you see that now on i'll wear it after the lockdown that's what you tell yourself and after the lockdown you'll be like ah no it's been in this world let me get something else and look sassy for this occasion and then like that this year will be over and we are still counting so please this is a good time for you to package all those clothes you know you're not going to be wearing tell yourself the truth you know go wear around if you feel they are so expensive or so worthy that you can't just throw them out there are people that sell treats items now on instagram you can sell to them at a discount so that way at least you make small money from it definitely not everything you used in making it okay we're almost done so number eight number eight has to do with personal finance review your personal finance this period so many of us don't know how we spend our money anything we know is money comes in money goes out like like obi you just spend any money that comes in yes there is money and before i know it there is no money so i think this is a good time for you to review how you spend balance how you spend with what comes in even if you have a business on your own even if you're working even if you feel you have so much money but you still have to just use this period check how much has come in for the past two three months check how much you've spent because as it is now we don't even know how long this situation we are in is going to last but then we have to be mindful of how we are spending right now so that we don't find ourselves in a position we don't want to find ourselves in i'm not an expert on personal finance or financial management but what i know i do is i make use of piggy vest this will should pay me for this advert <laughs> 
I make use of piggy vests. I save some of my coins there. Put one naira here, put two naira here. So whatever is left after you've put out your savings is now what you budget on. Then you know what is most important to buy and what is just less important for you to focus on. I sure know you get this part. I'm not a financial expert, but I know you understand what I'm saying. Mind how you spend, mind how you chop money. Okay, for number nine, number nine is meditate, learn to meditate. So many of us don't know what it means to meditate. Personally, it was sometime last year that I put interest in it and I started learning how to meditate. This period that we're at home, is a good time for you to give yourself an alone time, a moment where it's just you in a quiet place, no phones, no distractions, nothing. The only thing that you, you're allowed to be with while you're meditating is a paper and a buyer. So whatever inspiration comes to mind, whatever thoughts come to mind that you know you need to write them down for future reference, that's all. But meditation is a beautiful thing. It removes your mind from all the worries of life, helps you to focus on yourself, helps you to reevaluate what you're doing, and helps you to relax. Even if it's 30 minutes, one hour, Maybe not up to one hour, but you start from somewhere and meditate. Just meditate. Peace. So the last but not the least of the activities that we can do this period that we are all at home, that's number 10, is to get close to God and get close to your family. So many of us work life business everybody's pursuing money everybody's pursuing careers and especially our parents we hardly call them like we used to so this time that we are freer your work is not that much on your neck i think this is a good opportunity for us to build a better relationship with our family our siblings our uncles our aunties it's not compulsory is everybody because there are some down the normal even if you kneel down beg them everything they'll still carry a ball for you no problem let them carry a ball let them strong face no wala but the ones that maybe because of distance or work you guys have not been in touch i think this is a good period to keep in contact make video calls chats and on the same note please come closer to your god my dear so many things are happening in this life. So many things I cannot explain, you cannot explain. One minute we are all happy for a new year and then we are in 2020 and so many things are just going wrong. Definitely it's not going to be like this forever. But it's also a time for us to reflect on ourselves and how we've been living. As it is now, you can't even go to church as you used to, to go and cry to God. So everything has to be in the comfort of your own home. Renew your faith in him because nobody knows tomorrow. Nobody knows how things are going to turn around. Okay, now it feels like I'm preaching. But you understand what I'm saying? Yes, you do. Be more confident in your faith in God because everything is going to get better. So yes, those are the 10 simple activities I believe we can all do this period. So you pick the one that you feel you're comfortable with and go with it from one to two to three to four and like that you might have achieved so much more this period than you've done in the past three months probably so these are a few of the things that i am working on as a person that's why i'm sharing with you it's not every day definitely sometimes i'm better sometimes i just lie down on my bed and sleep all day and be like this life i can't keep myself i can't keep myself <laughs> Some days I just eat, sleep, I wake up and oh, watch a movie and sleep again. But we always remember that there are other things about life and we have to do something to help ourselves. So if you feel there's something I omitted or if you feel that there is something you're doing I didn't mention, please let us know in the comment section so that others will see it and practice as well in their homes. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a thing or two and I believe that from now on you're going to imbibe one or two of them into your regular schedule and if you're seeing me on your screen for the first time do not forget to hit the subscribe button below subscribe to this channel like the video watch comment and follow through for more videos from my humble self bye